Hi guys, I'm Captain Deadmeat and welcome back to another exciting episode of State of Decay and the story of just how long Marcus will survive. Well, I kind of don't remember exactly what we were doing last session. What were we doing last session? I don't remember. Anyway, I think we've been helping out these people a lot lately. Somebody's broadcasting something. Oh, somebody's broadcasting Jack. something. Jack, do you copy? Man, where are you? Yeah, shut up. You might want to go check it out. I'll go and check it out later. See, they keep demanding things of me. And you know what? Marcus is fed up with this. Which is also interpreted as, I'm fed up with this. We need to go exploring. I think we need to go further out. Uh, how do we bring up the map? There we go. I want to go and investigate this person down here. Whatever this stranger in trouble or let's go and meet the judge all right let's go and oh hang on we better see if we need supplies first is it true is, what? is, is Eli I'm afraid yeah Eli's so. dead shut up like hell. Wasn't no uh, we will take some oh. ammo was it, um, I mean, reload the gun. Did, did he suffer? He was unconscious for most of it. Only woke up a couple of times. Um, he, uh, we'll yeah, stash he that. You at the end. Thank you. Some painkillers, food, table leg. Yeah, alright. So we've got bludgeoning weapons as usual. We've got nice. <clears throat> nice melee weapon. Thank you. All right. That thing looks like it's had okay. enough. Me a favor while you're out there. What? Happy to help. It's no, never mind. It's stupid. Yes, it is stupid. I'm confused. I've been packing up my dad's stuff, and I found a watch box. It's from the birthday present I got him when I was 12. This stupid little plastic thing with a cartoon fish on it. I don't know why he kept it, but it kind of made me realize I don't have anything to remember him by. So. I was going to ask if you'd go up to where he died and bring me something of his. No, forget it. It's stupid. It's way too risky. Yes, it is I'm way too risky. What is this zombie doing? Hey, are you alive? <clears throat> Clearly you're not. Okay. I think it is time to go and head and see the judge. Uh, what's the best way out of town, you reckon, eh? What's the best way to... Uh, down through here, maybe. Alright, we need a car. Just reacclimating myself. Not now. With the controls, so that we don't get Marcus killed. <clears throat> oh, there's a car. <clears throat> yeah, you die. <clears throat> Survivors who cannot reach the Marshall Municipal Courthouse should contact us on this frequency. We'll make every effort to get you an escort. Alright. Got ourselves a nice car. Let's see if we can... Well, that's a noisy car. It's going to bring lots of attention.
All right, we're moving into undiscovered territories once we go beyond these vehicles. Oh, but not the horde. No, in my luck, I'm gonna smash my car, and then I'm not gonna be able to. Oh god, these things are hard to control. And then I'm gonna have to walk back. We've had to hold up. They need you to build them out of a jam. Need the next one. Well, I'm busy. I'm going to see the judge. Oh, it's a crane. There's a dinosaur. It's a dinosaur park. Excuse me. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, that's bad. Oh, he's hanging on the back. Get off. <laughs> God, there's a lot of dudes out here. I need it. Nice. Sassy burger. Whoa, what's going on here? No, not you. I'll have to drive around. Hopefully there's no injured people. Oh, now where are we? First major turn. Flaming fire truck. Um. Huh. Can we get in there? There we go. This place looks pretty dangerous. I sort of want to leave my car somewhere where I can get easy access to it. Respect, Your Honor. We're stretched too thin as it is. You got half my guys guarding the dispensary instead of out there pushing these things back. I understand the difficulty, Sheriff, but I don't know what you expect me to do about it. We only have so many trained officers left, and I'm not comfortable with the prospect of arming civilians for this kind of work. If you'd let me start training them, I... We'll discuss this later, Sheriff. We have a visitor. Welcome. I suppose you've heard our broadcasts? Well, it's all true. We have a safe, secure society here, governed by the rule of law. Walk with me. Cool. I'll explain. 
you have a society? I'm sorry. What exactly happened in the United States when I wasn't looking? Look around. We're facing a disaster of unprecedented scale. True. We have no way of knowing how widespread it is or how long it will take federal authorities to respond. Until they do, we have to look out for ourselves. It may not be the most constitutionally traditional succession, but it's all we have. All we have? The army's camp just across the river. Yes, and other than vaguely threatening radio broadcasts, they've made no attempt to contact us or provide relief efforts to the civilian government. Yeah, they're pretty useless. Meanwhile, ordinary citizens like yourselves are living in fear. Fear of the dead. Fear of the criminal element that sees this as an opportunity to prey on their fellow man. I'm not scared. Fear of the uncertain future of our nation. But it doesn't have to be that way. And of course, all firearms will be surrendered. Only duly appointed law enforcement officers are allowed to go on. Yeah, no. Right. Well, thanks for the offer. But we're doing just fine on our own. And I'm damn sure not surrendering my guns when the streets are full of flesh-eating dead people. I'm very sorry to hear that. We'd certainly prefer it if people joined us freely, before the issue has to be forced. Is that a threat? Just a reminder that the Wild West doesn't last forever. Hmm. Don't take it personal. She's under a lot of strain. No, she's we're crazy. Pretty good by these things. Like you might have heard, we're short-handed. Tell you what, help me clear some of these problem areas out, and I'll vouch for you. Put in a good word, maybe set up some kind of trade arrangement. Yeah, maybe not a bad idea. What you got, Carl? Feel like lending the hand? Yeah, let's do it. Happy to help. Hope you're geared up. We've got a few infestations to deal with. A few? I'm not sure I agreed on a few. I hate to see the old girl like this. Wait, what? The town. Been on rough times for a while now, but it used to be a damn fine place to live. Raise a family. Whatever you say. Of course, my wife didn't. Uh, all right, where are we going? Never you mind. Go oh, on. That's where the infestation is. Well, she married a machinist. Didn't like it when I became a cop instead. She finally had enough a few years back. Took our son to live in the city. Said it would be a more enriching environment for him. I'm sorry. Oh. How your fault. Bit of a game glitch there, man. They are here. Whoa. Finish it off. Um, okay, so what exactly happened to your security? Because there's no guards. And there's no gate. What the hell? You guys are freaking useless. Heads up. Zombies on our left. Sounds like there are a few zombies in that building on our left. So we can bypass the horde. Yeah, there they are. We're not here.
Looks pretty clear to me. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Alright, let's go. Oh god. What was that? Oh god. It's so dark in here, can't see. He's in the garden somewhere. Get him! Get him! No censorship violence. Well, search. Oh, hang up. There's a horde outside. <gasps> Quiet. <clears throat> uh oh. <clears throat> hang on. How do I get down? Huh. Oh, no. Damn, I'm tired. Oh god, this could be the end of Marcus. into the courthouse for protection. Mayor Carson had got himself shot trying to cross the bridges. The city council was locked in a conference room and refused to come out. The police station was overrun. It was chaos. Judge Lawton stepped up. Got us all organized, kept people from each other's throats. So maybe she's not technically the law of the land, but damn sure we'd all be dead without her. How do I? Damn it. No. Nope. I'm trying to figure out how to use the iPod. Keep your eye on our right. We've got zombies in <clears throat> Thank you. 
Nil two R two. Oh god, that's another horde. Get back inside. Ah, oh, there we go. Let's see what we can find, and then we'll hide out and wait for that horde to go past. Here they come. I need more food. There we go. You don't see us, zombies? We're not here. search the rest of the house. Get out of my way. Ah, oh, stupid AI. Alright, everybody in the bathroom. Everybody out of the bathroom. Get out of the way, you stupid morons. something in the kitchen to search yeah there we go we've got this place locked down food cheap replica for yeah why not nice Um, actually, I might take that. That could be useful. Right. So the next one is just outside of town. Jump fence. Oh, yeah. Zombies incoming. Whoa, yeah. What is that? Of course, some folks can never see how good they got it until it's all gone. Um, what happened? You know how it is. Some people, you ask them to go without for a little bit, and suddenly they're on the cross. Yeah, no problems. Sit tight. Helps on the way. Yeah, helps on. on the way. Hang on, what? We can deal with the rest of these infestations later. We gotta help those people first. All right. Oh god, where are they? How are they there? Let's do it. Nice and quiet like. Hi. <laughs> uh, 
it's just the wind. I was going to say, it sounded like a car. Um... Looks like we can jump up there. Oh, that's a horde up there. Uh, we're good. It's a horde over there. Where are those zombies traipsing up to? Sneak in the back door, eh? Anybody in here? Bad idea, bad idea. Get him. Oh god, not this again. Get out of the doorway. Get out of the way. Oh my god. Fucking NPCs, man. I'm thinking... Someone got massacred. Time to move on. Whoops. Okay, so they're not in that house. Next house. Get out of the fucking way. Um, can we go out the window? Yes, we can. <laughs> sort of. Zombies up ahead. Hey. Go around. <laughs> Hmm. 
<sighs> Keep an eye out to the left. Let's see if we can get in the back door. Open up! Are you guys in here? Hello? Anybody home? So it's looking pretty empty. Trouble, right flank. Someone in the bathroom? Hello, zombie. Time to move. <laughs> Better keep moving. We got zombies behind us. Uh, next house is that one. That must be in there. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, now you come back over. Sucker. There is no hiding from my crowbar. Crowbar of justice. Nope. Nobody there. Get out of the way. Swear to God I'm going to kill these NPCs. Something's still moving around in here. <laughs> Can't get him. Oh, maybe they're in the shed out the back. I was dead. Oof. Thanks. We owe you big time. Don't you worry about it. We're happy to help. Yeah, I think we'll call it a day there. The rest of those infestations can wait a while. I appreciate the help, though. Hey, there's something weird coming over the radio. It's really strong, like it's super close by. And here, listen. on like that. Can you keep an eye out for something like a transmitter or a beacon? I don't know what you're looking for. I bet that. Oh, there's a beacon. Alrighty guys, that will be the end of this episode of State of Decay and once again Marcus manages to survive for just but one more day. On Come back next time when we go and investigate that beacon. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please give a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and until next time, look out for those zombies and have a good day. <laughs>